Good morning. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Danny Poon. I'm a PGY4 at Stony Brook University Hospital. And uh, today I'll be talking about the role of drains actually for the prevention of postoperative abscesses, specifically in adult patients uh, with complicated appendicitis. No financial disclosures to report. So um, whenever I scrub into lab Bappy, this is what I hope to find. Um, but more often than not, I see this and occasionally this. And the question that does come up from time to time is, do we drain or not to drain? The overall incidence of postoperative abscesses is approximately 2% in cases of laparoscopic appendectomies. Now, this rate does increase with cases of complicated appendicitis, goes to as high as 14 to 18%. Um, placements of these drains now intradominally after cases of uh, complicated appendicitis are pretty controversial. Historically, we believed to facilitate drainage of intraabdominal fluid collections, thus preventing formation of abscesses. Now, these drain placements are not without complications. They're associated with increased rate of surgical site infection, postoperative ileus, and obviously uh, increased hospital length of stay. There was an updated Cochrane review in 2021. Now, they evaluated the use of abdominal drainage versus no drainage, but specifically in open appendectomies for cases of complicated appendicitis. These authors concluded that there's really no difference in the rate of postoperative abscesses between drainage and no drainage groups but they did note a higher rate of surgical site infections in patients with abdominal drainage. But this was also not statistically significant. So my study was the first systematic review meta-analysis for adult patients undergoing lap apnees for complicated appendicitis. Primary outcome was evaluate the role of placement of drains, and the secondary outcome was evaluate surgical site wound infection in patients with drains versus no drains. We did a literature search using PubMed, Cochrane Central, Google Scholar. We identified six retrospective studies that are included in our studies, approximately 2,900 patients. We defined complicated appendicitis as gangrenous appendicitis, perforated appendix, uh, and also the presence of intra-abdominal perineal fluid or abscesses. We excluded pediatric patients, uh, anyone under the age of 18. We also excluded anyone that opened, uh, underwent an open appendectomy and cases of uncomplicated appendicitis. We noted that the overall rate of postoperative abscess in patients that received a drain was about 3.6%, pretty similar to patients who uh, did not receive a drain was about 3.7%. We found that there was really no significant difference in the development of postoperative abscesses between patients who had a drain and no drain, but this was not uh, statistically significant. Next, we analyzed the rate of surgical site infections. We saw that patients who had a drain was about 8%, compared to about 5.7% of the patients without a drain. Again, there's also no uh, significant difference in the rate of surgical site infection in patients with a drain versus no drain. We did also run uh, analysis on uh, uh, median hospital stay, and we saw that patients with a drain had a median hospital day length of about five days versus three and a half days without a drain. So our findings from this meta-analysis suggest that the placement of drains does not prevent the development of postoperative abscesses in cases of complicated appendicitis. And there's also really no significant difference in the rate of surgical site infection between drain placement and no drain placement. Several limitations of studies, of course, is non-randomized retrospective nature of the study. Selecting bias was likely an issue. Um, there's also really no standardized protocol for placing or removing drains, usually left to the operating surgeon's discretion. Um, the quality of evidence is moderate at best and uh, further high quality studies with uh, randomized control uh, trials are required. These are my references and thank you again.